My name is Blake Thongley. I'm the co-owner chef here at Mosaic in Ubud. When did you discover you had a passion for cooking? Well, for my 11th birthday, I wanted to buy a surfboard and my mother told me to go get a job. So I started washing dishes in the kitchen, local winery restaurant, very close to my home. And then that's where I sort of fell in love with the kitchen. Being back in Bali and Mosaic Gastronomic Bali is a sweet reunion between you and chef Chris Salance. But what made you decide to come back to the island? What made me decide to come back was at the start of last year, Chris contacted me when I was in Shanghai. And basically he told me that he was closing and he was looking for somebody to come in and take it over. And then after being here for five years before, I was like, well, let's give it a new life and revive Mosaic. And then we got in touch, talked some more, and then now you're looking at Mosaic 2.0. Last year, Mosaic Gastronomic Bali reopened with a new concept. What can you share with our viewers about this new concept? So the whole idea behind the concept now is we're still keeping Mosaic at heart. We're still focusing on the fine dining, tasting menus, etc. Focus around unique Indonesian spices and ingredients. But I thought, why not turn it more into a multi-concept place? So we can offer the tasting rooms at the start in the lounge. Then we have the whole main dining room, which is going to be a surprise coming soon, where one of the courses in the dining room is going to be experienced in the garden. It's all going to be cooked open fire cooking. And then at the back of the property, where I'm sitting now, is going to be the chef's table, where it's going to be live cooking with either myself or one of my team members, where it's going to be very interactive. It makes people feel more, more energetic about the space. Because nowadays, nobody wants to sit at a dining table for three hours with the same person all the time. You want to get up, move around, become interactive. In your own words, how would you describe your style of cooking? My style of cooking is basically I love to use unique products and spices and also make it quite fun and, and unexpected to the guest. You know, have that nice element of surprise, either it's through texture or flavors, or you don't even think those items would work well together. I like to keep people guessing and keep people interested. Mosaic Gastronomic Bali has a stellar culinary reputation and it shows on the impressive menu. Do you have a personal favorite dish on the menu? Honestly, my personal favorites always change because I'm always evolving the menu. So I cannot say, you know, one day I might like this because this product's really, really tasty. And then I've got this new other idea coming up. So I'm always going to keep changing and evolving. So yeah, everything's my favorite, basically. You're very passionate about your work. What do you most enjoy about being a chef? For the new ideas and things like that, I'm inspired a lot by nature and unique spices and also just thinking outside the box you know like using the whole of a fruit or a whole of a citrus why can't you use the skin you know you just got to play around with it make a lot of mistakes to work out exactly how it's going to work perfectly and it also helps the zero waste concept as well which i'm a firm believer in sustainability where do you usually get your inspiration for your culinary creations i love food and beverage you know, everybody's got to be able to eat. Otherwise, if you don't eat, you die. It's quite simple. And also the creativity behind it. And also the rush and fun of like making people happy in a restaurant. As someone who has been working in restaurants for decades, what tips could you share uh, with anyone looking to break into the culinary industry? Anybody looking to break into this industry, I would say don't go to culinary school. Take that money that you'll spend on culinary school Find the best restaurant where you're living, any part of the world, and just go and work there and learn from the chefs themselves. What do you do away from work? When I'm off work, what I like to do, a bit of kite surfing, jet skiing, and just, yeah, chilling out a lot of the time. Bit of barbecue action, that's about it, really. Very simple, 